Welcome to the Stiff Suit Academy training video. This video will show you how to disconnect high voltage systems in vehicles and points you need to be aware of. A Toyota Prius 2 is used to demonstrate the basic steps. The steps may not be quite the same for other models. Please refer to the instructions provided by the manufacturer. Certain repairs on electric and hybrid vehicles require you to disconnect the high voltage system. Special safety precautions must be taken due to the high electric voltages. Once the ignition is switched off, remove the ignition key from the vehicle and place it in a secure location. Set up a barrier around the vehicle to separate it from the rest of the workshop. This will prevent people entering the danger zone unintentionally. The barrier should be approximately 1 meter away from the vehicle. Use a marking cone to identify the high voltage vehicle and place a warning sign on the vehicle to show that the high voltage system is still active. You can now start the process of de-energizing the high voltage system. The first step is disconnecting the vehicle's 12 volt onboard power supply. Remove the luggage compartment trim. Then disconnect the negative terminal from the battery and insulate the disconnected cable. For example, by wrapping a plastic bag around it. This will prevent the cable from coming into contact with the vehicle earth. You will need to remove a number of panels and covers in order to access the vehicle's high voltage system. All screws and small parts must be carefully stored in a container, because anything that conducts electricity could cause a short circuit by falling in. This could have fatal consequences when dealing with high voltages. Before removing the service disconnect of the high voltage battery, there are further important preparations to be made. First of all, check that your voltage tester is working properly, as it will be used to determine that the vehicle is de energized. You should also perform the test on the mains voltage of a 230 volt socket, as well as the 12 volt electrical system of the car battery. As you will soon be working in the high voltage area of the vehicle, it is important that you remove any watches, jewelry or other metallic objects on your body or on your clothing. An extremely important aspect. It is absolutely necessary to wear personal protective equipment. Firstly, check your safety gloves for leaks and damage, such as cuts or porous areas. The safety gloves must be capable of withstanding a voltage of 1000 volts. The service disconnect may only be removed if you are wearing class 0 safety gloves. Pay attention to the zero in the name, it represents the required level of protection. Put on liner gloves if you need to and use a safety helmet with a visor to protect your head and face area. This is because the high energy content of the high volt battery can cause dangerous arc discharges as well as explosions in the event of short circuits. Put on your safety equipment before attempting to remove the service disconnect. First unlock the plug and then disconnect it. Removing the service disconnect separates the battery cells from the high voltage battery. There should now be no voltage on the battery terminals. Store the plug in a secure and lockable location, for example a lockable box, to prevent anyone from reinserting the plug while the vehicle is being worked on. To determine whether the vehicle is de-energized, you will need to wait for a given period of time, specific to the vehicle, which is usually a couple of minutes. You can use this time to uncover the relay of the high voltage battery. You should keep your safety gloves on at this point, as you have not yet verified that the system has been de-energized. All small parts such as screws should be carefully stored in a container. Now that the relay contacts can be accessed, you can use your tested voltage tester to verify that the system has been de-energized. Always measure the voltage at all terminals, that is positive to negative, and every terminal to the vehicle earth. 
Only now, that is, after the vehicle has been de-energized, can the vehicle be considered officially de-energized. Appropriately trained personnel can now carry out repairs on the vehicle without having to wear safety equipment. You should now change the warning sign on the vehicle, as the high voltages have now been deactivated. Work can now be performed on high voltage components within the engine compartment. This is a demonstration of how to remove the cover of the inverter. This must be done, for example, in order to measure the insulation resistance. Once again, make sure any screws are stored in a safe place. The interlock switch is removed along with the cover in this vehicle model. This is an important step in guaranteeing the safety of the vehicle. Equipotential bonding tests are normally performed for closed HV systems. This test measures the conductivity of the earth connection between the housing of high voltage components, in this case the inverter, and the vehicle body earth. The measurement device used here uses a measuring current of 1 mA. To measure the insulation resistance or to check whether there is sufficient insulation between the high voltage system and the vehicle body earth, the resistance is measured between HV plus and HV minus and the vehicle earth. The measurement points and the test voltage for the Prius 2, it is 500 volts, are provided by the manufacturer. The same applies for the set points, most of which will be in excess of 1 mega ohm. The insulation resistance between each of the three phases and the vehicle earth is also measured. Some diagnostic tests can only be performed when the high voltage system is active. Label the vehicle appropriately and put your safety equipment back on. The service disconnect must be inserted and the 12 volt electrical system must be activated. To restore the power supply, all you need to do is to insert the interlock switch. However, please also bear in mind, only do so if you are wearing safety equipment. You can now take voltage measurements while the high voltage system is active such as the voltage of the high voltage battery at the DC input of the inverter. Switch on the ignition of the vehicle and configure the measurement device to measure direct current. The full high voltage should be measured between HV plus and HV minus. Half of the battery voltage is measured between HV plus and the vehicle earth and between HV minus and the vehicle earth. Reason? Insulated systems form a voltage divider. The combustion engine must be started in order to test the generator. The three-phase alternating voltage can then be measured. Do not forget to switch your measurement device to alternating voltage. Prior to reassembling the components, the vehicle must be de-energized again. Follow the instructions covered earlier in this video after switching off the ignition and removing the interlock switch. Check that the system has been de-energized at the high-voltage battery. Afterwards, you can take off your safety equipment. Don't forget to label the vehicle accordingly. Once the system has been de-energized, the cover can be reattached to the inverter in the engine compartment. For this model, it is important that the interlock switch is located in the cover. Use a torque wrench for any screws and use the correct tightening torque. You do not need to wear any safety equipment as you have already verified that the system is de-energized. Next, reinsert the service disconnect. You normally need to wear safety equipment to reinsert the safety disconnect.
Make sure that your voltage tester is still working by checking its function on a 230V socket and the 12V electrical system. Next, connect the 12V battery. The high voltage system is now active. You are now familiar with the main steps involved in de energizing the high voltage systems of electric and hybrid vehicles. Please follow the manufacturer's instructions for the specific model that you are working on at all times. We wish you every success.